What is up everyone, Gunpla Collection here, and welcome to another episode of GBGW. Now, earlier, I would say at least within the 10 minutes that I was um, logged in, or actually I just logged in, um, 10 minutes ago there was an emergency maintenance, nobody could log in, so that's the reason why um, if you were trying to log in and stuff like that and you couldn't, it was an emergency maintenance. Uh, we're going to jump into notices real quick. And as you can see, here is the emergency maintenance notice. So it happened starting at 9.20 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, or Pacific Daylight Time, sorry. Um, there was an emergency maintenance because of high user traffic once again. So this is the third time there was a high user traffic issue with the game. Now, why do you ask? Well, I'm pretty sure it's probably because of all the stuff that they're trying to implement into the game. So, it ended a few moments ago, which is okay, but I honestly think that they should have released a statement on their social media accounts, such as Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, because I came trying to log in not knowing that there was an emergency maintenance. Now, Twitter didn't have any announcement in regards to you know, an emergency maintenance happening, stuff like that. And, you know, it was an hour-long maintenance, at least. So, that was very confusing as to why, you know, you couldn't log in, stuff like that. But, in regards to that, the new event is out. And, um, I have to say, I have certain issues with the game as of now. But before I get into that, let's go ahead and jump into shop real quick. And take a look at a few things. So, I did notice there were a few changes here. So, Blueprint... So, gear-wise, there's nothing interesting. If we go into parts, we will see Tier 4 Awakening Circuits and AI Awakening Circuits in here. Now, how do you get them? There's two ways. First way is to have three Tier 5 molds. Now, how do we get that? I'll get into that in a little bit. The second way is to have two Tier 4 Awakening Circuit Fragments. How do we get that? I'll also get into that in just a moment. Other than that, we are required to have 15 Tier 3 Awakening Circuits as well. Now, that's a little bit expensive because Tier 3 Awakening Circuits are almost just as hard to come by as Tier 4 Awakening Circuits. I mean, yeah, I have 142 Tier 3 Awakening Circuits right now, but it doesn't mean anything. These were basically me not using a lot of my awakening circuits um in regards to that tier 4 ai waking circuit is the same way um 15 ai waking tier 3 circuits and two ai awakening tier 4 fragments and of course you have the tier 3 ai awakening i'm sorry tier 3 awakening circuit this one is standard we've seen that one but this one right here you are required 20 tier 3 molds. Now, in regards to tier 3 molds, I'm not too sure how to get that. Um, it could be purchasable in the shop, but um, I haven't seen it quite yet. Jumping to part wise, we do see the previous welfare event parts. Uh, we Here we have Rising Gundam and Tall Geese 2, as well as the Gusion. Um, we also see that there is the tier 5 variants as well. So if we go and take a look, you will find that if you want a tier 5 variant of these parts, you are required one tier 5 mold, 15 revolution material. How do we get that? I'm not really too sure. Um, haven't really looked into it. And then of course, six power style data. What is that? Um... I'm thinking it has to do with um, the traits of the part, but uh, how do we get that? I'm not too sure. Now, it varies basically but depending on the part itself, if it's technique, speed, or power. As you can see, here we have the Toggies 2, and that's a technique mobile suit in which a technique style data is needed. So that's pretty much how you would craft these. Uh, 
In regards to that, we only have eight days to choose what we want to craft. I'm not sure if I'm going to do any crafting in regards to these welfare parts because they're eh. Um, tier three wise, of course, two tier three molds, revolution material, you need five of them, and then just two power style data or whatever style data you need in regards to the parts. So that's quite interesting. Jumping into Capital Shop, let's go ahead and take a look here. We do not see anything interesting. Jumping in Exchange, let's go ahead and go into Revolution Coin Exchange. So here we have the Curios. So Curios wise is pretty interesting. Let's go ahead and take a look here. So here we have the Curios head, shot attack coming in at 1440. Part trade at level 10 with machine gun category equipped, enemy shooting power reduced 25%, work tag, transformer and high mobility. Come on. Chest wise, shot defense coming in at 1147, part rate at level 10 when armor is 80% or less, 14% chance to survive a fatal blow. War tag, transformer and high mobility. This might be useful, but that's 14% chance. Um, arms wise, melee attack coming in at 2000. Part trade at level 10 with technique attribute self. EX skill damage output boosted by 20%. War attack, transformer, high mobility. And I didn't notice it, but why is a Curios a technique attribute when it should be speed? Makes no sense at all. Um, leg wise, best stat comes in at 893 for shot defense. Uh, EX skill at level 10, Saber Boomerang, category B melee, Pierce D power B cooldown, six seconds first time, 21 seconds after, slash with your saber, then hurl it point first. War tag, Transformer, and Fort Tundra. All right, with the backpack, the best stat is shot defense coming in at 893. EX skill at level 10, Trans Am. Of course, not surprised with, you know, the double O suits. Uh, category Awakening, effect time 51 seconds, cooldown 12 seconds first time and 60 seconds after. Fully increase all highly compressed particles in your GN drive. Raise your speed by 20%, raise your shot attack by 29%, raise your beam resist by 49%. War attack, Transformer, and for Tundra. Alright, next up we have the GN Beam Machine Gun, or Submachine Gun. Um, shot Attack coming in at 1440, Part Trait at level 10, Beam Range Weapon, Reload Speed boosted 15%, War Tag Transformer at High Mobility. Last but not least, the Shield. GN Shield for the Kyrios, Shot Defense coming in at 1440, EX Skill at level 10, Claw Mode. Category Physical Melee, Pierce D, Power B, Cooldown, 3 times per second and 21 seconds after. Change the tip of your shield into claw shape and catch the and catch and crush enemies. Lowers hit enemy Gumpla's physical resist by 29%. War Tag, Transformer, and Fort Tundra. So that's pretty much it. Of course you get the standard tier 3 parts and then you have the choice of getting tier 5. Um, and then of course we have five standard capsule tickets and it seems like they lowered it back to th Did they lower it? I can't recall. I think 300 was the the standard Price if I'm correct. I can't recall because they've changed it so often already um, skip ticket wise they lowered it from 20 to 10 um, Awakening circuit wise standard 700 same with AI awakening um, other than that, here we go. So we have the tier 5 mold. We can get three of them, but at the cost of 600 coins. That is very expensive. I don't even think I'm going to try going for this at all. Um, Awakening Circuit, tier 4, 150, and you get one of them per. Eh? Um, Emblem-wise, not sure why it's an RX-93 when the Curios isn't even an RX suit. So that's kind of odd, but 54 emblems and 100 in total. Next up we have gears, very standard, 10 coins, 
Not bad. Revolution material exchange wise, we still have no idea how we're getting the revolution material. I'm thinking it's through um, the missions itself. It might be just drops. But uh, here we have some stuff that we can craft with the revolution material. So 5 for tier 1 and 10 for tier 2. But who really needs tier 2 stuff at this point? All right, so we'll jump into achievements and take a look at what the achievements hold. So, jumping in here, clear scenario one battle. So we get 100 revolution coins. We get one tier three mold, and then of course, 003 premium material. So that's something that I forgot to talk about. 003 premium material is back, or actually, premium material is back again for this month. So once again, we have another chance of choosing a tier 4 part that we want at the end of the month or the Sonica pool if you choose to um, other than that let's just scroll and take a look here so awakening circuit super hard you get your first tier 4 awakening circuit okay so you get two tier 4 awakening circuits in total um, this time, it's very interesting. Clear 20 event missions EX. So, you're going to have to play play the EX mission 20 times. Now, what's good about the current um, update of the game is that you can use skip tickets and it'll count for the achievements. So, beating the EX mission once will provide you with more EX missions played without having to actually play, you can skip ticket it and I'll count towards the achievements. Alrighty. Other than that, let's go ahead and jump in the capsule. We will talk about the parts and everything and I will have a little rant in regards to the current version of the game. All right, so with that, let's jump in the capsule and Gumpla Part Pickup Capsule. So we have the V2, so let's go and talk about that. V2, shot attack coming in at 2791, part trait wise at level 10, with technique attribute self, shooting power boosted 30%. War tag, ace exclusive and high firepower. So this is the head, very interesting. Chest wise, um, melee defense coming in at 1608 and armor coming in at 1184. Part trait wise at level 10, long shooter job, EX skill cooldown release, reduced 20%. War tag, ace exclusive, and high firepower. Next up, V2 arms, melee coming in at 1982, melee defense coming in at 1184, EX skill at level 10, hand missile pod, category physical shot, pierce A, power D, magazine 11. Cooldown, 0 seconds first time, 60 seconds after. Launch missiles stored in your forearm, you can move while firing. Word tag, ace exclusive, high firepower. This is actually an arm that I would be interested in getting because of the EX skill, to be honest. Alright, leg wise, melee defense coming in at 1184. Part trait wise at level 10, with bazooka category equipped, projectile speed boosted 15%. War tag, ace exclusive, and for computers. Backpack wise, melee defense coming in at 1608, EX skill at level 10, missile pod and beam cannon, category beam shot, pierce D, power B plus, cooldown, 6 seconds first time, 21 seconds after. Attack, attack enemies ahead with the missile and beam cannon on your back. War tag, ace exclusive, and for computers. Alright, next we have Big Beam Bazooka, um, shot attack at 3590, EX skill at level 10, Big Beam Bazooka, category Beam Shot, Pierce A, Power D, cooldown 15 seconds first time and 60 seconds after, fire high energy beam at enemies from your bazooka, war tag ace exclusive and 4 computers. Quite interesting for um, a bazooka to be honest. Alright, next we have the Australia Blue Frame Head. 
shot attack, melee defense, and shot defense all come in at 1179. Uh, EX skill level 10. Ega Stellan? Uh, I can't pronounce that. Category physical shot, pierce D minus, power D, cooldown, 5 seconds first time, 19 seconds after. Fire the anti air auto cannons in your head at foes straight ahead. You can move freely while shooting. Lowers hit enemy gunplas, melee, and shot defense by 14%. War tag mid range and for tundra. Alright, the chest wise. Armor coming in at 1601, melee and shot defense coming in at 1179. EX skill wise at level 10, offense hack beta, category debuff, effect time 37 seconds, cooldown 7 seconds first time, 33 seconds after, reduce melee and shot attack of all enemies by 24%. War attack mid range and for tundra. So this is actually a fairly good um, EX skill that you should equip onto your allies because it would make your enemies more vulnerable. All right, arms wise, we have melee attack, melee defense and shot defense coming in at 1179. EX skill wise at level 10, defense hack beta, debuff, effect time, 37 seconds, first time seven seconds and 33 seconds after reduce melee and shot defense of all enemies by 24% we're tagged mid range and for tundra so it seems like the chest and the arms have the same ex skill i'm oh, sorry well, hold on i think i read that wrong reduce enemy shot and melee attack okay offense hack defense hack Interesting, so I guess Oh, okay, one's shot attack, one's oh, Okay, one's offensive stats, one's defensive stats. Okay, my bad. I totally read that wrong. So defensive hack reduces shot and melee defense of all enemies. Offensive hack reduces <laughs> melee attack and shot attack by 24% okay I got that all wrong I apologize for that um a straight blue frame leg wise melee and shot defense coming in at 1601 part trade at level 10 with speed attribute self ex skill piercing boosted 28% war tag mid-range and Gundam type these are very interesting legs I think I do like this one uh, Backpack wise, melee and shot defense coming in at 1601. So, same thing as the legs. Uh, EX skill at level 10, Serpent Bite. Category B melee, Pierce B plus, Power B minus. Cooldown 3 seconds first time, 21 seconds after. Attack with dual sabers held in backhand grip, striking enemies like a snake striking its prey. War attack mid range and Gundam type. Last but not least, Anti-beam shield, blue frame. Melee and shot defense coming in at 1979, uh, sorry, 1974. Uh, part trait at level 10, mid shooter job, enemy shooting power reduced 30%. We're tag, mid range and Gundam type. So it seems like for the blue frame, it's more of a supporting type of suit in which, you know, all the EX skills seems like well, EX skill and passive skills seems like it has to do with reducing enemy stats. So, if you are to get the blue frame astray, it's highly recommended to put it as your ally, as a supporting unit. Alright, AI pilot wise, we have Judao Ashta and shot attack coming in at 1602. He is a mid range shooter. Portrait wise at level 10 with power attribute self. Buff EX skill time up 22%. Ooh, so this is actually a very, very good part trait. Um, War tag, pro tag, and transformer. Last but not least, my absolute favorite pilot, Luna Maria Hawk. Shot attack coming in at 11.42. Part trait wise at level 10 with technique attribute self. Long shot attack raise 14%. And as you all know, Luna Maria is a long range shooter. Uh, we're tagged for base and Zaku type. Hopefully, I'm able to get Luna Maria sometime soon. All right, now for 
the interesting thing here. AI pilot wise, I never reviewed this, but Amro Ray is a long shooter. Part traits level 10, beam range weapon, reload speed boosted 20%. So this is very useful. Word, ta uh, word attack, Gundam type, and Federation, and of course, shot attack coming in at 1602. This is a pilot I want, and I am happy that he will be joining the standard part pickup, uh, standard AI pickup capsule. So there is a chance for me to get him. Now, in regards to the new Gundam Verka, here is the issue: I did five times ten rolls last night. I did get one new Gundam part, and I got the new Gundam legs. Not too bad, in all honesty, but. Out of 50 parts, I got two tier 2 parts, one being new Gundam legs, the other being the mace. Why is it that there's two tier 2 parts and 48 tier 2 and tier 3 parts mixed together? Now let me go and show you. They said it was an increase in drop rate for the new Gundam. Show drop rate, drop, drop rate wise. The only thing that changed in regards to this was the drop rate for each new Gundam part. It's at 0.2% compared to 0.017% for the, all the other parts. But if you scroll and you can see the scroll bar on the right hand side is pretty small. If you keep scrolling, there's a lot of parts. And that's absolutely ridiculous because tier four parts is 5% if you just normally try to roll for them. Prime pool wise, it's at 0.663% for new Gundam parts. Meanwhile, all the other tier 4 parts are at 0.056, 17% for prime pool, 83% for tier 3s. Why? This doesn't do anything. This doesn't help at all. They say it's an increase, but it's not an increase whatsoever. And I'm pretty sure if I did three rolls or four rolls right now, I would not get a new Gundam part. And I'm willing to do that. I'm willing to take that bet. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. I'm probably going to regret it. But four is the max I'm going to do. So four. Yes. Tier three right here. Touch. Okay, tier 4. Because last night I got a lot of tier 3 parts. Versago head. What? Why? Pale Rider? Pale Rider legs. What? Why? That had nothing to do with the new Gundam. I don't know, what do you guys think? This is absolute trash. Another new Gundam legs. Not what I need, but okay, so that gives me two of them. I don't need another new Gundam legs. All right, so three more. And I'll prove to you how much trash this capsule is. And touch. What? Okay, that's new. I don't even know whose backpack that is. I accidentally skipped it. But you, you guys can see that there is no way that you're able to get the new Gundam with the percent up. Okay, I'm a little shocked here because I got the new Gundam chest. I'm still confused. After all this trash talk I did, I'm, I'm starting to get new Gundam chest parts victory Gundam backpack let's go ahead and take a look real quick uh, eh. all right two more and that's pretty much it I'm this one's tier three touch I'm confused now so when I say it's tier three it gives me tier four I mean, okay, I guess. Unless if the maintenance did something. Okay, Mars 4 slash blade. 
I'll, I guess I'll take that because I don't have any of the diver re-rise parts anyway. What is this? Vraka? Beam Saber, okay. Kind of weird, kind of weird. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know how I feel. I'll do it one more time, yes. And that's pretty much it for me. Because this is going to be a tier 3 touch. And like I said, I was right. So that is pretty much the last one. Um, I'm surprised I even got three new Gundam parts. Though I did prefer wanting to get other stuff. Um, like maybe the arms in the backpack? Maybe the shield? But we will go ahead and take a look at the new Gundam um, parts right now. So headwise this is something that you would want to get new gun head so shot attack coming in at 3312 shot defense coming in at 1356 part trade at level 10 when attacking with beam ex skill power boosted 30 percent so this comboed with last shooting um the rx 78 ex skill is pretty strong in all honesty uh we're tag first base ace exclusive All right, chest wise, armor and shot defense coming in at 1734. Part trait wise at level 10, when attacking with beam shooting power boosted 30%. Ooh. Okay, so this is pretty good as well. Com combine this with the new Gundam head, you have a pretty strong range suit right there. Uh, part trait, word tag, sorry, word tag, first base, ace exclusive. All right, the leg wise, armor coming in at 1356, shot defense coming in at 1734, EX skill level 10, beam saber combo, category beam melee, pierce D, power B plus, cooldown, six seconds first time, 21 seconds after, unleash a combo with the saber in your right hand, war tag first base and ex ace exclusive. All right. Did I say leg on the previous one? I meant arms, sorry. This is the legs. Shot defense coming in at 1734, part trait wise at level 10. When armor is 40% or more, EX skill cooldown reduced 20%. Word tag, first base, Gundam type. So the legs is actually quite useful for EX skill cooldowns. Backpack wise is definitely the one I would want to get because of, you know, the funnels. Uh, Shot defense coming in at 1734, EX skill at level 10, fin funnels, category beam shot, pierce A, power D, cooldown, 6 seconds first time, 60 seconds after, launch fin funnels to strike foes in all direction, you can move freely while this is active, we're tag first base and Gundam type. Alright, all right. here we have the beam saber, armor coming in at 1356, melee attack coming in at 2523, Part trade at level 10, with speed attribute self, strong melee power boosted 30%. War attack, force base, and ace exclusive. Alright, the new Gundam Beam Rifle, which is one I have. Um, shot attack, coming in at 4110. Part trade wise at level 10, when armor is 40% or more, enemy, uh, enemy strong melee power reduced 30%. War attack, force base, ace exclusive. And here we have the new Hyper Bazooka. This is one I really want because of the EX skill. Now, shot attack coming in at 4110. EX skill at level 10, dual cascade. Category, physical shot, pierce A, power D. Cooldown, three seconds first time, 21 seconds after. Hold bazookas in both hands and fire high, high power rounds. War attack, force space, ace exclusive. This has to be one of the best weapons in the game. Um, I believe this is second best in the game, coming in second f compared to the RX-78 beam rifle. Shield wise, so shot defense coming in at 25-23 and physical resistance coming in at 10-82. Part trait wise at level 10 with rifle category equipped, enemy shooting power reduced 30%. War attack first base and it's exclusive. This is a shield I really want as well. 
So I am done with rolling for the new Gundam. Somehow I got lucky enough to even get new Gundam parts. Leg-wise, I really don't need it because I already have it, as you can see with my current build. But I guess I'm not going to complain because of that. All right, other than that, guys, I will catch you guys in the next episode. I will actually have an episode out for tomorrow in regards to the mission events, and I'll go ahead and play through that with you guys. All right, other than that, guys, go ahead and let me know what you guys think of the, you know, the banner itself, the new Gundam banner, if you guys like it or if you guys hate it. In all honesty, I didn't really like it because of last night. Right now, I think I just got lucky because I got a bunch of tier 4 parts. But other than that, don't forget, guys, thumbs up on my videos, of course. Comment in the comment section. Subscribe and hit that bell notification icon so that you guys are up to date with all new videos I post for GBGW. Other than that, guys, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out.